good morning guys and this time not from our studio but actually from the car because I'm driving to Zwolle and why am I driving to Zwolle? Well, I'm gonna explain to you in the next scene but welcome to today's episode of Behind the Closed Doors. Hey, so why am I in Zwolle at DHL? Very simple, we have a new package in. <laughs> Normally I'm not this kind of guy that will actually drive to Swallow to pick something up. But seeing that today we leave for Photokina and that actually yesterday we got a message from Apple that my new iPhone 7 Plus was being delivered today. We checked online and actually the delivery time was between 2 and 6. And Swallow is only half an hour away so I just decided, you know what, jump in the car and get the iPhone. So I can use it on Photokina and give you my opinion on it because I'm very very curious about the new camera. And boys and girls, here it is, the new iPhone 7 Plus. And I actually went for the normal black, so not the shiny one. So. Quickly going home, make sure that the iPhone is transformed to this one, in other words get all my data on this one and then leave for Photokina. Okay, I'm back in the studio and we're first gonna make a backup of my old iPhone, put it in a new one and then we're gonna leave for Photokina. But I have something else I want to show you guys. This will be the set of something we're working on. It's still very much in, well, in my mind. But we're gonna do some really cool stuff here, maybe even during digital classroom. And these are our first two guests. Oh, I already said too much. Okay, so here we have the iPhone 7 Plus. Looks pretty similar to the old one, of course. And this is in the box, the charger and the Airpo uh, not AirPods of course, but the ones with the wires, and this is very handy. I really expected Apple to be selling this separately, but it's really cool that they included it in the package. And I think otherwise they would have got a storm of uh, responses from people. But anyway, so this is in the package, and the USB cable. So everything is nice and neatly packed, and I hate unboxing videos, but I actually have to wait for the backup. So I thought let's show you guys what's inside. Now one of the things that I don't get is why you still get those earplugs with your iPhone for the very simple reason I use my own headphones and I actually never used the Apple ones but I just like my own better and to make sure that mine will work I actually ordered an Adept and it's a really cheap device it's about 19 euros and it will make my headphones into Bluetooth including connections for forward backward pause and of course pick up my phone so that one will arrive today but I will see that one when I'm back from Photokina and I will let you guys know how that one works out but first I'm gonna focus of course on the new iPhone and its camera because that's why I actually upgraded a first thing I always do when I get a new iPhone is make sure that the glass is protected uh, I had some bad experiences in the past and these things actually work pretty good. Now in the past we used Rhino shields but somehow if you also look at my older iPhone they always came loose and well they started out really great but I think the later incarnations aren't that good but hey that could be me and a week has no problems and now I try the bodyguards so it's a pure two I don't know if it's better or worse but we'll see and of course temporary I'm gonna use the cheapest cover I could get just to make sure that it's uh, safe and as soon as Otter releases it I'm using the Universe Otter box and it's really great because it has this this I don't know how you call it this system over here where you can put in extra batteries or a speaker and I don't know why you would put a speaker there but the extra battery is really cool because normally we use Mofi cases and they're really heavy and in this way you just use your normal iPhone case and normally there's a slider in here so it doesn't look this weird and as soon as your battery runs empty you just plug in the battery and you take it out as soon as it's um, full again the cool thing about this is that you actually only have to buy one case and if you upgrade your iPhone you only need to change the case so you don't need to change case plus battery so that's a really good device and I hope they very soon release the 7 plus version because then I'm gonna order it straight away okay so it's now back upping and I'm gonna make sure that the shield is on before we leave 
Hey, this is pretty cool. Free replacement, so that means if your uh, cover gets loose, or in this case of course the shield in front, you get a free replacement. Now this is really nice because, again as I mentioned before, this is my Reno shield on my iPhone 6s Plus. I would have loved to replace this one because there's also a little bit of a scratch over here. And if they would have, and I don't even know for Reno shield, I have to look that up online, but I don't think so. This is really encouraging, so if I have a problem with it, they will just replace it. Cool! Another thing that's really handy is they actually use a suction cup to align your panel on your iPhone. So with the other ones you have to push it down and, well, I'm, I'm pretty steady with it to be honest. I normally get them on pretty easily, but this looks even better. So let's see if it really works the way it's advertised. The screen protector is on, there is still some weird discoloration or I don't know how you call this it looks weird but according to the manual everything should disappear within 24 to 48 hours so let's hope this will disappear but I will keep you updated on this because it does look a little bit weird but you know what we'll see okay now getting a new iPhone is of course great you have new options in the camera often you have new options in video and the display is supposed to be better so I'm really curious about this one now I love Apple products for the very simple reason they just work I've been using PCs for years and there's nothing wrong with a PC but if you get a new PC and you need to update your operating system you often have to have new drivers you have to install the software again and with Apple it all went perfectly seamlessly I'm still on my first installment of my Mac OS actually and that's been I think six, seven, eight years ago. And it runs flawlessly. And now Sierra is released. And I'm not going to update at the moment. I'm going to update as soon as I'm back from Photokina. Because don't ever update a production machine if you need it. The one thing that I don't understand. And well, it's probably something that I, if somebody explains to me, I will understand. Is why Apple doesn't let you update your apps via iTunes. Now, I have a lot of apps on my iPhone, just like you guys. And my internet is pretty slow. Now, as soon as I have a new iPhone, everything is set up on the new iPhone perfectly from the backup. The only thing that Apple doesn't do is install the apps the way they were. Now, I know there's something called app compression that makes sure that the apps don't take up a lot of space, but I would prefer to have the apps on my computer and just copy them in the backup, because you actually make a backup, right? to my new iPhone and at the moment it's downloading all the apps and with our internet that actually can take a long time so I now have to wait for that and I think by the way in a moment I'm just gonna switch it off and say okay just update over the air because we have unlimited package in our um, iPhone so we have unlimited data and that's actually faster than my at home internet so that's something that Apple could improve. Just get the apps on your computer in the backup and just put them straight on your iPhone. Now I have to download them all the time. So all the time, by the way, only when you get a new iPhone or iPad, of course. So we're going to get ready to get to Photokina. We have to get all the books in the car and some drinks for over there. And we'll just see what Photokina brings. I'm very curious to see the new Alpha 99 too. Although I'm probably going to stick with the A7R2 or its successor because I like the fact that you have the shorter lens distance, meaning you can use every lens via a converter. And the Alpha 99, in all honesty, was a great camera. But now that I'm used to the smaller A7R2, I think it will be very weird to walk around with a bigger camera. Because every time now I hold the bigger cameras, I still think, why are they so big? Because the A7R2 with the grip is actually pretty cool in my hands. It feels like a real camera. And remember, in the old days, the, cam the cameras weren't that big. If you look at Pentax or Practica or Leica, they were all the same format that now actually the A7R2 has. So, very curious about Photokina. So, we're going to drive there now and check in the hotel. And then tomorrow, the first day at Photokina, and I will be speaking at the BenQ booth. So, make sure you drop by. So, join us to Germany, Cologne, for the Photokina. Okay, we arrived in Cologne for Photokina, of course. This is our hotel. But first, we're going to grab something to eat in the city and visit the store. Okay, we arrived at Pinup Comics. So they should have a great collection of also English comics. So let's go inside and see what they have to offer.
and also some records including the Dutch Tootsie ones. Okay, we're back in the hotel and I'm gonna do the last stuff for the BenQ demos for tomorrow. So always changing and fine-tuning the, the seminar. And we got some really cool deals in a 50 cents bin in the comic book store, so that's always cool. I'm always looking for the $1.50 50 cents stuff because that's what makes it fun, right? And hey, I'm Dutch. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I hope you're gonna enjoy all the episodes on Photokina. We have fast internet in the hotel for as long as it will be fast, of course. So I think we're gonna upload an episode every day and just let you show, just show you guys what's going on at Photokina. So thank you so very much for watching and make sure to leave comments below. We really like to read those. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them, of course, also in the comments below. See you tomorrow. Have a nice evening. Bye bye from Germany.